Why is it still there? It's not starting yet. Hold on. Okay. So when you start um, multiplying a number, a whole number with a decimal and another whole number with a decimal using the area model, first thing you need to do is do what to make sure your final answer is reasonable? Izzy, what do you want to do at first just to make sure your final answer is reasonable? Estimate. So three and a half, or I'm sorry, three and two tenths is estimated to what? Three. And three and four tenths is estimated to? Three. What is three times three? Nine. So we know that our answer will be about nine. Okay. So then the first thing we do is we draw three and two tenths. So we've got three holes. One, two, three holes and two tenths, which represents the first number. You share that first box with the second number, and you've got one, two, three holes, and one, two, three, four tenths. Do you agree? Yes. The strategy I showed you was just continue the lines horizontally and vertically. So I'm going to start with my horizontal lines. I'm just going to continue them all the way across. Those of you that decided to do this method this time, it really seemed to work for you. Might not be perfect, that's fine. I have a hard time drawing a perfect line. If you want to use a ruler, you can. Okay, now I've done all the horizontal lines. Do you see any that I missed? Okay, so now I'm going to continue my vertical lines. Um, these extra over there just don't, that doesn't, I can't pick up my eraser right now. <laughs> okay, so now the last step you're going to do is you're going to add all of your pieces to find out your total. So I've got one hole, two holes, three holes, four holes, five holes, six holes, seven holes, eight holes, nine holes. I'm just going to keep track like this this time. Now I'm going to count my skinnies, my, ten my tenths. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can make another hole with that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I've got 8 tenths. Okay, now moving on to the bits, or the hundredths. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, <coughs> eight hundredths. How do I write eight hundredths? Gianna? Um, two decimal and then zero, eight. Yep. And then all I have left to do is add to make sure it's correct. Remember, when you're adding or subtracting decimals, you do need to make sure the decimals are lined up. When you're multiplying, you do not. So I've got eight in the hundredths place, eight in the tenths place, and ten in the holes. What do I do to check over to make sure it's correct on a leaf? Do the multiplication. We can do the multiplication because we know how to do it. Um, so I'm going to do that with a different color. And I'm going to do it very small here at the bottom because I don't have enough room. And I can't pick up my eraser. Okay, so when you're multiplying again, you pretend like the decimals are not there. <coughs> 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Since I'm starting in the tenths place, I need to put a 0 there to hold my spot. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, add them together, <gasps> running out of room, and I have 8, 8, and 10, I have to carry the decimal 1, 2 places over, so my answer is 10 and 88 hundredths, does that match? Yes. Yes. yes, it does. So we are correct.